Luke's is off the food. So this is the second lot of um, food I've put down. But it's these things, and, I'm, and uh, I've tried the beef, and I've tried the chicken, and uh, no, she doesn't like either. So I don't know what's going to happen, but um, she's still got dry food, so she's not starving, obviously. Um, so but she's asking now, so I'm going to feed her again, and uh, we'll just have to see how she gets on. What was we talking? Don't sit in it. Right. Good morning, everyone. Well, they say all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy, so I'm not going to be dull. Um, I've got an invitation to go to Corfu, so it's the longest this boat will have been, uh, so we might as well get set off.
Look at this. So, come to do daily checks. Now this engine hasn't really run since I've got to Kofu, so uh, it's the first time I've really opened up to have a look. And it was full of water, so I've cleaned all that out. This looks as though it's leaking. This is the water pump, and you can see all the salt. I just uh, wiped a load of it off with tissue, but uh, so it looks as though that's leaking. I've got a spare that I pulled off the old engine, and there's a hose here, and there's a flexible hose the other side, so it looks as though it's fairly straightforward to pull off. Um, but I haven't got a replacement impeller, I need to get one because the other water pump doesn't have an impeller, which is in here. So uh, I don't want to have to reuse that. So um, I've got to take a run down to get some fuel anyway. So we'll keep an eye on it while I do that and then make a decision about whether we repair it here or whether we get back to Lefkus and then repair it when we get back. Um, we'll see. We'll see how bad it is first. If it's really bad, then I'm going to have to repair it. Okay, well, we've had a lovely week up here in Corfu, but it's now time to head back. And uh, we've got a really nice wind for it. I don't know if you can hear me over the wind noise on the camera, hopefully you can. So uh, I'm using the autopilot, but I've just got it in like manual mode, because uh, the automatic mode is about as much use as a chocolate teapot. It just uh, it needs calibrating, I think. So I don't know. So I'm just basically letting it steer the boat a little bit, but I'm constantly having to correct it. So, um, yeah, sails are up. I've still got a problem with this mainsail. I can't get it to go all the way up tight. And I've tried and I've tried and I've tried. And I think the only thing I can do now is actually go up the mast to, uh, to see what is actually stopping it up there. Um, so we'll see. Uh, so yeah, so I'm heading back. Um, doesn't feel like it but we're actually doing about five knots which is really really good um, and uh, Driscoss is performing beautifully um, I've got 20 litres of diesel just there so I know we're not going to run out at least so yeah and uh, yeah so I'm enjoying myself I'm having a bit of fun for a change why not it's all good and uh, we're in 50 odd metres of water, so I know I'm not going to be hitting anything. So I just need to just uh, sail. So I'm going to take this autopilot off in a second and uh, put both hands on the tiller and get on with it. So, yeah. So we're leaving the song here. Um, not a breath of wind, so just motoring out now and uh, carry on down to uh, Lefkus. Uh, not over keen on the songy, picked up a fishing line while I was there around the anchor, so uh, not a big deal, but it just means that yeah, got fishing lines all over the place. So. Um, it's somewhere that we went a couple of years ago with Svetlana. Um, there's a grocery store that's very highly priced, a lot of restaurants, but that's about it. It's, there's an um, all-inclusive um, resort there, so that's why we went. We went to meet some of Savannah's friends the other day. So, um, yeah, but it was convenient uh, for the night, so it's somewhere I knew, um, and I could pick up some cat food and, and uh, some bits and pieces, so uh, it'll do. Um, so we're heading back down south, um, taking far longer than I expected. It's this folding prop, it's just um, not really designed for motoring like this. So uh, hopefully there's, there's a little bit of wind a little bit later on, we can get the sail up and uh, get moving. Right, I've put this off as long as I dare. I've got to start tackling this mess that we call a bathroom next job so i'll start by ripping off all of this uh, white stuff and then get to the um adhesive and start cleaning it i think
got the vacuum ready got a wire brush got a wire brush on the on the drill there's me tripping over the vacuum cleaner so yeah not looking forward to this but we need to do it and uh, that's the only hatch in here so i'm gonna get the washboard away from it so i've got some light and open it made a difference getting the light in there okay so let's get cracking i suppose Well, it's starting to look a lot cleaner. And I've got all of the um, adhesive off now. So the washboard is there, which is why it's looking a bit dark. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint, I'm gonna paint this. So this needs to come off and I need to sand it. Um, and then I need to probably paint the back wall and maybe this side wall as well, just to brighten the place up. So the whole thing will be white apart from the wooden strips across there in the cupboard. And I think that will actually look a lot better. A lot, lot better. I might actually leave the door wood and just paint the rest. So, yeah. And then I've got to tackle this. Because it's pumping in seawater. It's pumping out. But there's just a brown crud in there that is not going so I think what I'm going to do is take the pump apart and clean that maybe even take the toilet out and, uh, and clean it completely I think that's the best thing and uh, I've replaced one of the pipes I'll replace the other pipes at the same time I think and uh, get that working so now it's clean in here, I'm trying to decide which is the next job, whether I should take the toilet out and do that first, or whether I should do the painting. And I think I'm leaning towards taking the toilet out, because it'd be nice to actually have a working toilet. So, yeah, that's uh, the next job. This is the um, pump for the toilet. It's supposed to be self-priming. And... Uh, yeah, I'm not sure it is working at all, to be honest. So let's take it apart and see what we've actually got in here. And for start off, it's full of crud, as you'd expect, really. So, bucket of water. Scrape some of this crap out.
first pass with primer and it's already looking a lot better so I've taken this side off that's outside I'm going to sand that and then prime that and uh, I don't know whether I'm going to do the back wall and the side wall but I think maybe a little bit more to do on there I'm going to box in the um, instruments there as well just see if we can get that looking a bit tidier um, and yeah overall I think it's an improvement so far okay second coat of paint is on I've made a little box section to cover the instruments which is uh, not perfect but it will do um, it's till time to decide whether I paint this wall or not but we'll see and then the floor is looking a lot cleaner and in there is looking a lot cleaner I'm going to paint this white next job and then uh, start reassembling I think so before I paint the floor I'm going to have to take the toilet out uh, and clean the bottom of the bend on the toilet I've taken the pump off the macerator unit and I've disassembled that and cleaned that I need to get a service kit for it uh, but I put it back together and it does at least work now so uh, that's one positive thing so um, yeah uh, we shall carry on the doors off I've got it off the hinges and clean the hinges and uh, then I don't know whether I paint that back wall or not I'm still trying to decide well we just got our first storm our first gales come through and um, yeah it's not been too bad and uh, heavy rain torrential rain so I've found quite a few leaks on the boat but nothing catastrophic um, I think the worst is where uh, somebody's moved the chain plates and the um, when they've filled in the holes they've done a really crappy job at it um, so they're easy fixes that's the main thing um, bit of sicker flex bit of elbow grease and a bit of gel coat uh, and some epoxy thickened epoxy and we should be good so yeah um, it's very stuffy with all the windows shown what have you and because there's not enough solar yet Obviously, the battery is depleted since I've installed a refrigerator. Um, and I don't really want to use, I don't want to run the engine yet because although I bought a jerry can with a diesel, I've forgotten it. It's in the car. So I can't, uh, I can't bother to go and get it this time of night. It's, uh, it's coming up midnight. And uh, it's still wet and miserable. So I shall, uh, I shall see. The forecast is for all this lot to blow over by about three o'clock in the morning anyway. Um, so I think the worst is already gone. But if it has, then, um, yeah, I'm just going to open the washboard and uh, let some air in and uh, let, Lucy, let Lucy out if she wants to go. Um, I've moved her litter tray inside, but um, it'll move back outside when the, when, when the weather improves. Because I don't like having it inside. She's a messy little bugger. She keeps digging it out, so... Um, and I'm trying desperately to keep the place clean. Now I've got the bathroom um, serviceable. I've got the service kit for the toilet, so I'm doing that tomorrow. And then that's the bathroom pretty much done. Um, apart from a bit of trim around the edges, which I need to work out how to do. and Get some, some wood that I can use that will look nice to box in all the bolts around the toll rail and what have you. Um, but it's a thousand percent better than it was, um, which is all that really matters right now. So, yeah, um, first night in the Gales. So that's the first one of the season. So where are we now? First week of September, second week of September. Yeah, second week of September. So there's usually one around now. And then come October, we'll get, you know, four or five uh, October, November. Uh, so it's just a matter now of um, 
being careful when they come, just keeping weather eye out and see where we go. Haven't fitted the heater yet. It's still quite warm. It's a bit hot and stuffy, actually. So, um, yeah. Oh, it's my it's my arm that's the shadow. Okay. Yeah, so it's a bit hot and stuffy. Um, I'm using a battery lamp rather than the main lights because, as I say, the battery is depleted. Um, but, yeah, overall, I'm quite pleased. <laughs>